Welcome to this Configure Terminal presentation. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023. This is a short sample from our CCNA Voice training course which you can find at ConfigureTerminal.com. In this sample we're going to look at the basics of native presence which allows users in a Cisco Unified Communications Manager environment to see the status of other users on their telephones. Native presence is part of the CUCM and can be configured with no additional hardware or licenses. In the full course we discuss the CUCM features in a lot more detail. We look at both native presence as well as Cisco Unified presence and I'll show you how to install, configure and integrate Cisco Unified Presence with the Cisco Unified Communications Manager, Cisco Unity Connection and Active Directory. Our CCNA course prepares you for the ICOM 640-461 exam which is a requirement for the Cisco CCNA voice qualification. I hope you enjoy the short sample from our CCNA voice training course. Let's get started. Our phone resets and hopefully when it comes back it'll have those BLF speed dials. And there you go. Notice we have a busy lamp speed dial for Bob and for 1000. Notice this is different to a standard speed dial which is displayed at the bottom here. So as an example, if I go off hook on 1001, notice it's showing on this phone that Bob is busy. And now it's showing that he's available. Going off hook on 1000 also shows that that phone is busy. Both lines are showing busy because the two phones are in a call. So that was an example of speed dial presence. Now I'd like to show you how to set up call history presence. So our speed dial busy lamp fields work. Once again, and over here, they display the status of phones. Now when we go to the directories, missed calls as an example, the missed calls directory list doesn't show me the state of either 1001 or 1000. By the same token, going to the corporate directory doesn't show me the status of Bob's line. So let's see if we can change that. To enable presence enabled call lists, you need to go to the system menu, enterprise parameters. And notice this option here, BLF for call lists is currently disabled. I'm going to enable that option. Notice it tells me that we need to restart the phones for this change to take effect. So we'll click OK, click Save, and apply the config. my phones will reset. Now let's assume for this example that Bob's phone is unplugged or in my example the IP communicator hasn't started so this phone is not available. So notice now on this phone it's showing that Bob is unavailable but 1000 is on hook. Looking at the directories and looking at missed calls Notice 1000 is showing on hook. But now it's showing off hook. And once again it's back on hook. By the same token on the directories on this phone, notice I can see that Sarah is on hook. But notice 
now she's off hook. So through the directories, you can see the state of the call. And now it's back on hook. So that's an example of presence through directory and call lists. Another example would be to go to the corporate directory and search for a user. In this case you can see that Sarah is on hook and now she's off hook and back on hook. So that's an example of how to see call state or presence in the directory and call lists. Now from a security point of view people in organizations are not necessarily going to want everyone to be able to watch their status. Once again the boss might want to be able to watch the status of employees but not allow them to watch his state for example. There are two ways to implement security or presence policy in native presence on the CUCM. The first method applies to presence enabled call and directory lists. You can either use subscribe calling search bases or CSS's and partitions or you can use presence groups. You can also use these two in combination. Presence groups only apply to presence enabled call and directory lists. Presence enabled speed dials are firstly only configurable by an administrator so a user cannot configure their own presence enabled speed dial. So that's a first measure of security. Secondly, subscribe calling search bases and partitions can be used to limit visibility. Let's look at presence groups first. The first thing you do is you create presence groups. So we're going to create two groups. And then you need to set the default into presence group policy. In other words, is the default that no one can watch or is the default that they can watch? Then you need to assign presence groups to lines, phones and zip trunks. So for this example, let's set up presence groups so that 1002 can watch 1000, but 1000 cannot watch 1002. So the first step is to create presence groups. So going to the system menu, you select presence group. Click add new. So just to keep this simple, I'm going to call this group 1002 so that we know this is the group for phone 1002. We'll use the system default permissions at the moment. And I'll add another group. Let's call this group 1000. So this is the group for phone 1000. I'm just keeping this simple, but remember that you can create groups that apply to multiple phones. Click Save. So I'm going to go back to the list of our groups. Now 1002 is allowed to watch 1000. So we're going to say allow subscription and click Save. We don't worry about the standard presence group, so we'll just leave that at the system default. We'll go back to the list of presence groups. Click on 1000. And in this example, we're going to say disallow subscription. I could leave it at the system default because the system default is to disallow subscriptions. But I'll manually set it here. To view the system defaults, go to system service parameters, select your server and then the Cisco call manager service and I'm just going to use control F to find the default into presence group subscription which at the moment is set to disallow subscription you could change that to allow subscription if you preferred. We'll just leave it at the default. The next step is to apply the groups to the phones. So going to device phone, click find. 
And I'll start with 1002. And scrolling down to protocol specific information, I can see that it's currently in the standard presence group. I'm going to put it in the G1002 group and click save. You need to apply the config. So we'll do that. Click OK. Go back to the list of phones. Click on 1000. Scroll down once again to protocol specific information and we'll put this in the 1000 group. Before resetting the phone, I'm going to click on the line to allocate it to a group. So on the line, I can specify the presence group, which in this case is G1002. Going back to my list of phones, I can select 1000. Now that I've configured the phone with the presence group, I need to once again configure the presence group on the line. So scrolling down, I can select the G1000 group and click Save. So let's see what happens now with the state information. I'll click on the Directories button on 1002 and look at Miss Calls. Notice that it's showing that 1000 is on hook. Going off hook on 1000, shows me that it's now off hook or back on hook shows me that it's on hook however going to directories on 1000 doesn't show me the state information of 1002 if I go off hook the state information is not updated or back on hook the state information is not shown it's showing that this phone is unavailable Thus, presence groups can restrict the information displayed in the directories and call lists. By the same token, once again, going to corporate directory, doing a search, doesn't give me state information about this phone. We have successfully restricted presence information. Presence groups, however, don't apply to speed dials, and to demonstrate that, Let's change some of the settings. I'll go to System, Presence Group. And on 1002, I'm going to change 1002's ability to subscribe to 1000 to Disallow and click Save. Now when I go to Directories, Missed Calls, notice we cannot view the state of 1000. It just shows it's unavailable. However, please note that on the line, state information is still displayed. Presence groups do not affect busy lamp field speed dials. That information is still displayed. Presence groups have no effect on speed dials. The next option is to create presence calling search spaces and partitions, which apply to both speed dials and call lists. That concludes our sample of native presence from our CCNA voice training course. For more free information, please visit our blog at configureterminal.com. You can also purchase the full CCNA voice course at configureterminal.com. All the best with your studies and thank you for watching.